Welcome back, Acron fans! This exhibition match on Act Natural, which will be between Cron Aberrant and God. We have not seen God in a very, very long time. Okay, not that long of a time. We, we saw him in version 1.3 a bit, but we haven't seen him very frequently. He's actually been popping up on the channel a lot more often, and he's playing CISO, so we are seeing CISO in the Assassin match, Nocturne being the CISO Acron. So. And make it that what you will campaign wise, but like I said, it's it's sort of related to the campaign, but not don't take it too much for spoilers. Anyway, Kron Amarant is setting up the his own economy, and God is also setting up a bit of an economy. Not sure what he's gonna do though. CISO has quite a few openers they can go for, they can go for early importers, they can go for mostly liquid crystal RPs, they can they can't really split between the two, really. You want to have opening like crystal RPs and then importer at some point, but when they get the importer is very important. And we haven't seen any of this. And with the where is it? Here we go. Acron coming in for Crown Aberrant with an Octo as well. And God on the other hand, sending his Acron forward to attack. And that control's actually changed a bit, by the way, with the new patch, there was some increase in pathfinding, or potential pathfinding strength. So the performance was increased, and as a result, I increased pathfinding strength, which allowed me to block off this path, like makes this path a bit longer. So to get down here, you have to go around along here. I set up a few more choke points in the main base, and that was about it. But more lava! Everyone loves lava! Well, geologists love lava at least, so that, that's someone. Some people love lava! I certainly like looking at it. I don't like swimming in it though. It's it's not very comfortable. Like I mean, I suppose if you have a thick enough lead swimsuit, it could work. But I haven't found one in my size. So special up coming in with well, special up actually dealing with the Acron. So Crown Hammer needs to echo out this Acron scout. He does see kind of what's going on. There is an early importer to LCRPs, which means that. Good is likely to be going for a very, very early infantry rush strategy. Or no, three LCRPs, so he, actually they could be just standard. Could be getting a very quick factory. I, no, I want to see where his marines go, because he is moving one marine, both his marines up actually. I think he's going to be trying to do a proxy here, and maybe moving this one down. Because if he does this proxy here, then he can just move them down here, they attack from here down in the main base, and just, although not that matters since the Akron's over in his base, the Acron's in the wrong bases right now, but I think he's, obviously it's going to be moved that. It's going to be echoed out. That's not something to be concerned about. Anyway, Cron Aberrant taking care of Nocturne, at least a bit. God likely to retreat from that, but where is this? Guardian going out here and Marine going like I said, this is the proxy Marine. This is another special ops, and I don't see any other infantry. I think, like I said, it's based entirely on a proxy factory strategy. And special ops coming down here. I mean, he might be trying to build a proxy factory here as well. Might be building two of them. One within the choke point area and one out over to the side. We'll see what happens, but I kind of doubt it. I mean, he does have enough resources for it, and he might actually try to do that, just to have a backup proxy, but it seems weird to have a backup proxy. So, anyway, Crime must be well aware at this point that there is, in fact, a proxy coming up, but he doesn't seem to be acting on it. He does have enough coming up pretty soon for an octopod. And he does actually, never mind, he is acting on, he is getting an Octopod, and Nocturne here is going to need to retreat back to base. Guardian is not taking any damage, really. And that will be... Wow, okay, so that's... At this point, God has lost his... Or, might be losing his Acorn. He's... He's possibly retreating it back. No, this is for, far further than the past. He's echoing out that movement. He's getting it out of the way. So, this... This Akron is not going to be inside of Cronamorous base. Cronamorous Akron is still inside of, of God's base. God's not actually built any offensive forces to deal with that. And when is God building up his factory? I do not see any factories being built up at all. I, I don't know what... I don't know why he's taking so long. Why he's not jumping towards the present and just building the factory and then dealing with it later once he gets to it. Because that would save him a lot of chrono energy if he does that. But he isn't. Getting Nocturne out of the way, though. Other than that, not much really going on here, and not even building up anything here at all, really. So, Crown Aberrant further up here, he's jumping back to the 159 mark, sees that, well, we can see that Nocturne is still alive, but 
he just hasn't killed it. So, God, from his point of view, is... He's got a special ops dealing damage to this Akron here. Karn Aberrant can't easily retreat with it. I think Karn Aberrant might... I don't think he's going to lose this easily. No, he's going to retreat from it before this becomes a problem. Moving his Octo up here to take care of the special ops, the Octo should be able to take care of it, no problem. But where... There we go. There's that proxy factory I was looking for. I don't know why it took so long for it to be built, but... There it is. And another Marine coming down here. Not sure if he's going to build another proxy factory. I don't think so. I think one's enough. And... Where is... Oh, And with... That, we have the Octo attacking. And getting rid of at least one of the RPs. The other RPs... Well, likely going down fairly soon. Special Ops can't deal with this, and God could easily build up more infantry to help defend, but he's not doing that. He really is focused on this proxy, getting up a mech, probably trying to go for a proxy macrofab and mar tanks, but I don't see that working out. I, I don't know why he's trying to do that. And even with. Ah, okay, see, Lakis got accidentally ordered in here, it wasn't undone. And this is why I said build the factory and such earlier, like meta earlier, when it's closer to the present. Like when this point in time is closer to the present. Because that way, this can all be handled without massive chrono energy costs, and if you mess anything up, have to correct it. You have the chrono energy to do it. And yes, God apparently is going for this. He's getting another RP on Q Plasma. Those RPs in his main base are going down, even with this, this special ops here. Trying to do what it can. Trying to some city out of it. It's not enough. And it looks like God, even now, is still being defeated fairly soon. I'm, that must have been just because of before... It probably has still propagated the destruction of his Akron. So, at this point, it's not really a concern, but... Like I said, here we see that... We see it here, but it's not actually here. Oh no, it is actually here. That's the unplayable past edge. Yeah, his Akron actually moved back in. Did he not... Did he still forget to undo that movement? Anyway, ATC coming up, which should help attack, but... Won't be enough to take care of this, and... Yeah, God surrenders. That, that was anticlimactic. Wow, okay... I did not expect that at all. What? What happened here? Well, on the bright side, it does appear that all the replays thus far today have been completely perfect, which is good to see. I really like to see that replays play back properly. Oh, okay. God apparently takes back his surrender. I guess he got really confused by the way the time waves work, and is whether or not his Akron was actually in Kron Amber's base or not. Okay, so from what I can tell, what happened is that God had initially ordered his Akron into Crown Amber's base. And he went and moved it back and had undone it. But from the looks of it, that got propagated forward. That having happened, I mean, it got propagated forward. Because the Akron was in the base. But then he still had an earlier order that hadn't propagated, they must have jumped away from, that finally got propagated within the unplayable past to show that the Akron had not been moved over. And this is the Akron moving back in, so... Yeah, God jumping away from that, looks like he he really does need to undo the orders for Nocturne here, because that's that's going to ruin him if he doesn't do that. And also, by the way, I when it comes to surrendering stuff, as I've mentioned before, it's fine in an exhibition match if you say GG, oh wait, never mind. If it was a tournament match, at least for any tournaments I'm running, I would run... GG is a surrender. If you if you say GG, you're you have forfeited the game. Like it doesn't matter whether or not you meant it. You it's that counts. Like that's how it works. Like don't don't fake surrender. That that's just not cool. That really isn't. I mean, I kind of understand why God did it just now because it was a little bit confusing as to what happened with his Akron, like why stuff happened the way it did. But in general. Please don't do that. Anyway, Nocturne getting moved over again, and this is at the unplayable past edge. I, Like I said, why is he not undoing this? Why is God not undoing this? Karn Amber, we see it has come in here, but I don't know why he... I, unless he is trying to scout over and over with his Akron, and I don't know why he'd be doing that. I really don't know why he'd be doing that. Also, I don't know why he isn't attacking the ATHCs, but why would he not be doing... Actually, I do kind of know why he is... Too much resistance with the Octopods. But I don't know why he keeps scouting out with, no with Nocturne. This is... 
This is Oswald. He is trying to scout with that. He isn't using any of his other units to scout. I don't know why. The other units are much, much, much less risky. Losing an ATC is a small drop. You're breaking the bank a little bit. Losing your Akron loses you the game. And Kronenberg has a nice mound set up here, so he can have complete vision of everything in front of his base. So he sees what's going on. He knows about the proxy strategy. Seems to have known about it for a little while now. And God not really building anything else. He has some infantry in his main base. Not building any other RPs in his main base. Getting one here that he had built before. And his Lancer set up two. But once again, scouting forward with that and losing his Akron again. Or very nearly losing it. I think he, he might have forgotten to undo the orders. And now finally moving his army in. But God has no Akron. God has no way of actually seeing this point in time. We can see it because we're observing. This is a replay. But... God could not see it in the original game. His his Akron's dead. He actually he'd have a black screen right now. He's not able to see or command anything. From Conaver's point of view, his Akron's still alive. I think. Or no, it's not. Where's what? Hmm. No, it is actually. It is still alive. Okay, never mind. So yeah, the Akron's still alive here. God has apparently undone its destruction, but and moved his army in to try to take care of Conaver's Akron. But it's still hard to tell if it's enough. Hmm. Well, that's certainly a little bit awkward. And it looks like the Lancer is just... Oh, and God just surrendered. I guess he figured he couldn't get out of that. That was bizarre. Well, at any rate, the surrender was... It, it was mentioned before. So God ultimately surrenders... A little bit surprising the exact timing, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everybody.